Hi, it's gonna be a short topic today, pero napapansin kong dumadalas siyang tinatanong sa mga comments and messages. So I'll read you an example, two examples actually. So this one says, kapag may sasabihin siya, dinaig niya pa po ang mga Chinese. Di ko po maintindihan, ano po gagawin ko, Teacher K? And then this other one says, Yung anak ko po, nagsasalita naman, kaso hindi pa po namin naiintindihan. Parang Chinese, Japanese, Korean. Three-year-old na po siya. Ano kaya problem sa kanya? Salamat po. So this is what I'll try to answer in a bit. Tara, usap tayo. Let's get talking. Kamusta? For those of you who are new here, I'm Teacher K and I'm a certified speech-language pathologist. Going back to what I described in the intro, parang nung gustong i-describe ng mga magulang na to sa akin is marami nang sinusubukang sabihin yung mga anak nila pero hindi nila maintindihan. There could be different reasons for this, but the way that they explain it, comparing it to other languages like Chinese or Japanese or Korean, hindi nila maintindihan. And I think it's because what your child is doing is what we call jargon. So jargon already sounds like adult speech. So, kapag naririnig natin yung anak natin na parang yung intonation patterns, that's parang yung mga pag-akyat at baba ng kanilang boses habang nagsasalita, either tunog nagkukwento na sila or mahahalata mo parang umaakyat yung tono nila at the end. So, it sounds like nagtatanong na sila ng question. But we can't really tell what they're trying to say kasi yung mga sinasabi nila ay hindi recognizable sa atin na words. That's why this is sometimes called gibberish or babbling with intent. Kasi parang kung ano-ano lang yung sinasabi nila. No. Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh, no. Not, not this one. This is, this is the grand finale of this. Okay, the last one? Yeah, that's the last one. That's what I said. And he was like, ah, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, what in the world? But don't do that here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really? I thought the same thing. <laughs> we think a lot alike, huh? <laughs> Jargon is actually a part of the natural language development ng mga bata. Between 12 to 18 months, makikita natin, this is the time when they are trying to explore how to string and connect the sounds of speech together. And not just in words, but in strings of phrases na. Parang ang nakikipagkwentuhan na. Yun nga lang, minsan hindi nagtutugma what they want to say with ano na yung alam nilang sabihin. There is a disconnect between their intent to communicate and the amount of vocabulary that they already have to say that message. So what do we do kapag napapansin natin na nagja-jargon yung bata? So just like my tips in the Ecolalia episode, you can look back on that. You always try to determine what your child is trying to say. Kapag hindi mo talaga maintindihan, you need to find out what they are trying to communicate with you so that you can respond appropriately to them. Kittens bum. Kittens bum. Don't bum the kittens. Huh? Yeah. For your name. Kapag naman nahulaan nyo na kung ano yung sinusubukan nilang sabihin by context, for example, sinasabi nila pam-pam, tas ang ibig sabihin pala ng pam sa kanila is milk. So meron akong friend na yung baby niya, instead of saying na gusto niya ng milk, sasabihin niya milky pam. So minsan, milky pam lang or pam lang. But if you pay close attention, tas marinig mo yung pam, tas because you've heard it before, then alam mo ang ibig sabihin niya every time she says pam is she wants milk. Ah. So once you've figured out what they're trying to say, wag niyo masyadong i-dn or i-correct because like I said, when jargon happens, it is between 12 to 18 months. So they're not even 2 years old yet. So ang kailangan lang natin is pag sinabi niyang pam, sabihin mo lang sa kanya, model the correct target and say milk. Tapos move on ka na. Hindi mo na kailangan i and then just do it again the next time that it occurs. Why should we do this? Because we want to manage their frustration. Because if we try to go too hard on them with overcorrecting them, it could really impact their development because they may be feeling pressured to like learn too fast for their current level of development.
Other tips for trying to figure out kung anong gusto nilang sabihin is using actual objects or pictures for what they may be requesting for. So, kunyari, sinabi niya, pum, pum, pero di mo pa pala na-observe na ginagamit niya ito for milk before. So, let's say you're still at the process of figuring this out. So, look at all the things that are near you. Bring up different things. Like, sabi mo, pum? Siyempre, the child will react like kung yun nga yung pinag-uusapan niya, ma-excite siya, or kung hindi talaga yun, usually they will show naman with rejection, like she shake sila ng head or ng body, or they will push away. But at the end of it all, if hindi nyo talaga ma-figure out by context or trying to figure out what they're trying to say, just make sure not to show them that you are getting frustrated because that will affect them also. And it might send them a signal na, ay, wag na lang ako mag-communicate. Because ang important dito talaga is that this is a stage of exploration. And the fact that they're trying to say so much means na there's so much that they want to communicate with you. So imagine lang, if nafo-frustrate ka dahil hindi mo siya maintindihan, mas nakaka-frustrate na may gusto kang sabihin, tapos hindi mo maipaintindi dun sa kausap mo. So be patient with your children at this stage, and just wag magsawa to give the correct model. And like I said, I think for the third time already. Now, this is pretty natural. Like, it's part of development between 12 to 18 months. And it usually resolves by the time they turn 2 years old or 24 months. So, if you notice na nagja-jargon pa rin yung bata beyond their second birthday, do na po tayo magkonsulta sa mga professional. So, either, you know, for your next checkup with your pedia or you may want to consult with an SLP like me. And try to watch my other videos about language stimulation because ang gusto nyong mangyari is makakatch up yung pag-learn niya ng words to supply yung gusto niyang sabihin. So, that's all for today. I hope that that helped you. And if it did, please don't forget to like and share it. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing. It would really help me and actually encourage me to keep creating and sharing all these videos with you guys. So that's it and happy talking!